have lost it all. Anything you are given, if you have not been made to contain it, you will lose it. God has stopped giving to man. Man gives to God. God makes man. He doesn't give. What's the difference? So God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, leave your father, your mother, and come to me, and I will make you a great nation. Now, when I want to give you, it is instant. But if I have to make you, it's a process. He gave Adam. Adam lost it all. Anything you are given, if you have not been made to contain it, you will lose it. So Jesus also came and he looked at Peter and he said, follow me and I will make you. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed in the garden. Everything they wanted. The only thing they had to do was manage. And I've come to realize that whenever people are giving things, they always lose it. I can give you anointing. You will fall down and you will get up. But three weeks from today, you will still come for more oil because you got oil. But when you generate your own oil, the woman came to Jesus at a well. Jesus said, can you give me water? The lady looked at Jesus and had to do. You are Jew, I'm Samaritan. Jesus said, you always been coming here to fetch water, right? I can give you some water. That if I give you this water, you will not have to travel again to this well to fetch water. He said, he that believes in me, out of his belly shall flow a river of living water. And the woman said, I am tired of well. I want river. Many Christians have stayed at, we have stayed at gutter level Christianity. And that kind of river, fish doesn't flow through. You are at a cup level of your life. Don't be too arrogant. When you have arrived, you have scratched nothing. Don't think because of where you are, you have arrived anywhere at all. Every some will cry, not because they are sinners, but because you look at what they were supposed to be, that they could not be, because you were limited by what they were holding. God can never give you beyond your level of capacity. Hey, woman, you are coming to the well with a cup. You will always come and go and come, but I want to introduce you that there's a river inside you. If this river inside you will always be used, you will not come to this world again. And the woman says, show me me that river. Christians of today don't want to be made. They want to 